To understand why, we need to go back to 1982 where it all started. That's when a computer scientist named Jonathan Postel created something called SMTP, the Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. This is the system that still powers email today, nearly 45 years later. But here's the thing about 1982. The internet was tiny. Ballpark, maybe a few hundred academics who literally knew each other personally. So when Postel designed SMTP, he built it on trust. Think of it like this. If you send a physical letter, you write the return address yourself. The postal service doesn't verify that you really live at that address. They just trust that you're telling the truth. Email works exactly the same way. If you're thinking that's kind of dangerous, well, yeah, pretty much. When a server wants to send an email, it simply announces, hi. I'm sending this message from user at domain.com and the receiving server says, okay, sounds good. There's no verification, no authentication, just trust. This was fine when it was a small network of trusted researchers, but today when SMTP handles hundreds of billions of emails between complete strangers, some of whom are trying to deceive each other, well, you can see the problem. Anyone can claim to be anyone else.